But if you keep interfering in the process within a matter of days, and the TTC know from the history that your government in particular are quick to jump uh, into the fray and take away the right to strike from workers or legislate them back to work within days, why, what's the incentive for the TTC to sit down and sort out that problem? None whatsoever. There's no incentive for them to bargain. Um, and again, as I say, and it's from your area. You're, you're from Brantford, I believe? Okay, so you must be quite embarrassed by your own government um, to be sitting on the, on the opposition benches and to have some of your voters um, who voted for you sitting out on the picket line for two and a half years. You drive by them every day of the week. I know you've been down to the picket line. You must be wholly embarrassed by your government's inaction to do something about that strike in Brantford. But yet here you are sitting on a committee that's taken the same right to strike that those poor folks down in Brantford have been fighting for for their principles and their wages and their benefits, uh, your constituents, and here you are sitting wanting to take the right to strike off of 10,000 workers. You sat there as well and you voted in favor of taking the right to strike away, legislating workers back to work after two days. But after two and a half years of your own constituents being out in strike, you can't even convince your colleagues sitting either side of you and those around on your back benches, you can't convince them that maybe they should intervene and end that strike. Or maybe they should give them some degree of legislation where we stop the scabs going into the plant that's in your, in your, in your writing, day in and day out. I'm not asking you that. I'm asking you ought to be embarrassed. I want to hear you say that you're ashamed of, of those who sit on the benches with you, that you allow workers for two and a half years to be exploited, to be taken advantage of because of the lax labor laws in this province, that your government hasn't got the guts to stand up and say, you know what, this is wrong. Workers should not be taken advantage of like this in this community, anywhere in this province. So you should be ashamed of yourself. You should be saying to these folks, asking these, this chair of this committee, for example, what the hell is he doing to uh, work with you? You keep on saying you're working with your colleagues. Well, when are you going to get some results and maybe get those people back to work? Yeah, thank you.